hi my beautiful Aries welcome to my channel my name is Natasha goddess of life 1111 if you are new to my channel welcome if you are returning subscribers welcome back this reading is for my lovely beautiful Aries Sun Moon rising Venus and Jupiter this is a general love reading it won't resonate with everyone if this reading is not resonate for you please check out your other birth chart placement for more clarity Take what resonate and leave the rest. This is for my single Aries. Single Aries. This is general, general. Energy are fluid. Take what resonate and do. Please leave the rest. Thank you so much. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, um, universe, universal energy, my sister, my spirit, God, the pure white light, like Angel Michael, ascended masters. Please give my lovely, beautiful Aries a clear, precise, honest message. Thank you, thank you. My reading are timeless. You see it when you're meant to see it. Thank you, Aries. Thank you for all your help, your love, your support. I appreciate you guys. I'm sending a ton of love, blessing your way. Okay, we have open up. Someone could be holding on to you or you could be holding on to someone, to chakra. So you need to speak up Aries or someone need to speak up about releasing. Whether someone hold on to your energy, I feel like someone is spying on you right now. I don't know why I'm feeling here. I feel like someone is spying, spying on you. They are holding on to your energy. It might be someone you're not together with, you're not talking with, but someone is, um, they hold it on to you, so they need to release you, or you need to release someone. The lovers. So someone want a reconciliation with you. You have the towers. You have the tower here. Could be a Pisces. Yeah. Someone here wants a brand new beginning with you. I, I mean, yeah, you have the love of bond. You have the Ace of Cups here and um, Ace of Cups and the Hangman, which is this person, you know, there's a lot of people around this person. Someone in here could be very beautiful or handsome. You know what I'm saying? Very cute. Someone that, you know, a lot of people admiring this person. A lot of people want this person. But I feel like this person wants you. Just you, Aries. Uh, for my single Aries. Whomever you are, you could be very, um, very attractive. But when it's come to this person, there's a tower moment that's coming for you. We build. You're going to be heartbroken when it's come to this situation, but the tower is coming for you. Because this person, you know, you probably want a reconciliation with this person, but, you know, they also want you. So we have to see why is the tower is here uh, when it's come to this reconciliation. So we're getting to love oracle, oracle for my uh, single Aries. Wait, don't rush into it allow nature to take its course okay this is one more one for this person please yeah this person could be in a new relationship also but you know they think about you a lot here is this person taking things they're looking at it to um no perspective the reason that you probably have a tower you probably want a reconciliation with someone here and this person is already and something brand new but i feel like someone is still thinking about you still spying on you or whatnot while they are in a new uh relationship it say deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right wow okay that was quick and simple May I please have three cards for my beautiful Aries. My single Aries as one. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Universal energy, my sister, my spirit guide. Yeah. You feel left out in the call. The world. Whatever this cycle is, it's ended. Whatever you and this person, you know, 
it's ended it's done it's over with i feel like someone left you out in the call you might want a reconciliation that's what the tower is here i feel like this tower already happened the high worth it yeah there was a commitment there was this there was a commitment that's ended here get three cards for this person you are dealing with there was a commitment that's ended someone's felt like left out within the call if they haven't it's about to what's at the bottom it's five of swords libra gemini aquarius and then uh king of sword libra gemini aquarius someone feel like they are very victorious in this situation here someone that could be very cold you see someone could be very cold hearted here very cold, don't care how much they hurt anyone. They, all they care about is themselves. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles here. This person is in a committed relationship and a family dynamic that's very stable and grounded. And, you know, there could be marriage. Someone and he could be married to someone else here. The Hermits, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. That's, you can see this. This person is moving towards stability. They are moving towards a family dynamic here. Yeah, and this is justice. Could be dealing with the Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very prominent. Yeah, this person go to the justice and the peace, they call it a day. Someone here is, you want a reconciliation here. That's going to give you either, you know, that's going to give you a, um, not a, it's going to make your heart kind of, it's kind of going to be sad. I'm just going to say, because this is for my single Aries. Someone in here is went to ju the justice of the peace. They are married right now. Someone married. Could be Virgo. We have Virgo here and we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So whomever this person here, they are married. Wow. Okay. And you're going to feel left out in the cold because this right here, what it says is that there's a commitment that's ended. You want a commitment here. You want the tradition marriages in here. This person is doing it here. Is it that they already did it or they're going to? Clarify the five of pentacles for my single Aries. Yeah. You're going to have to stand as the, you know, this is Libra energy as the queen of swords that like taking the uh, ball by the, you know, by the horn to stand up, stand in your ground, to have strength in the situation, knowing that, you know, taming yourself, you courageous, you have enough strength, you know, and here to resisting whatever this is. Clip the strength cards for my Aries, please. Yeah, you are dealing with someone from your past. You see, look at this. Five of Cups. A lot of sadness, Aries. This is in your side. This is you being sad and regrets. You're thinking of this person from your past. Whomever this person is, you love them. You care about this person. Six of Cups, Five of Cups. This is you. You love someone in here. But this person is breaking your heart because they are in a committed marriage relationship. This person went to the Justice of the Peace, the court. They call it you know the married clarify the wall here for aries please clarify the wall for my aries clarify the wall please for my aries yeah wow i mean how many five of pentacles do we need this is the second one we have we have five of pentacles five of pentacles five of cups there's three fives here Major, change, major changes for you, my lovely Aries. Um, yeah, whomever you are dealing with, unfortunately, they left you out in the cold. They definitely are in, a, in a, another relationship. Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. So, yes. Whomever this person is, they're gone. It's done. And they are, um, you is, I'm not going to say it's time for you to move into healing, but this is you moving towards healings here. The Six of Swords is about, you know, you leave, try to leaving all those mental heartaches behind, all this thinking, all those, you know, anger. This is, I feel like all the anger and the sadness, you're leaving them behind and start doing some healing. Clarify the high offense here, please. Clarify the high within here. The 
the two of cups. Oh, this is someone you feel like, you know, that's your two of cups. You feel like this person is your soulmate. Wow. The Empress. So you come in as the Empress. Feel like this person is your soulmate here. But this person you feel like they are, you know, your soulmate. Look at that. Four of Wands, Aries, stability. You have stability coming toward you after this left out and the call. You're going to be with someone. Could be a Taurus that is stable, grounded, that's going to offer you a stability. An Empress here. This is, gonna, this is a married, you know, this is going to be someone that wants to be married because the empress here what i'm feeling here the empress here the four of wands and the uh two of cups that's about marriage celebration happiness abundance that's what coming towards you so because someone in here left you out in the cold there's no question about it because we have five of pentacles five of pentacles five of cups six of cups you sad you doesn't understand what you realize it's once you go into healings this is what's gonna come toward you and it could be another commitment with a um with a taurus beautiful it's gonna be very beautiful very abundance uh, and you're gonna have stability with whomever this person here this person this i feel like this is going to be someone new clarify the ten of pentacles for this person seven of pentacles yeah if this person is have if they haven't um you know celebrating their wedding whatever this is and stuff like that someone is waiting on money seven of pentacles clarify the seven of pentacles yeah you can't i can make this up ten of cups you can't make this up ten of pentacles seven of pentacles ten of cups someone is waiting waiting to have a celebration, a happy home, happy life with someone they have children with. That's what this, this is what's about to happen here. Finance, financial stability, all of that to have this beautiful uh, family here. Clarify the hermits, please. And you could be dealing with a Virgo. Two of swords. What they are not seeing, let's see what they are not seeing. What's this person? The two of swords, so this person is not seeing something. Okay. What I'm feeling here, this person doesn't know they are in a karmic relationship. They're not seeing this. They're not seeing this change. This person doesn't see, doesn't understand. They're not going to see the change that are coming for you. They are focused on their own lives. They are focused on their own happiness. They don't, you know, this person doesn't think you could become an empress. They don't, be, they doesn't believe you could be stable. But that's what comes for you, Aries, and it's gonna be absolutely shocking to someone here because they're not seeing it. They, they got the two of swords. They're blocking. They're not seeing you. They, don't, they see someone. I feel like someone offers someone a brand new offer of love. It could be someone they already have a family with. Clarify the justice card, please. Clarify the justice card. Yeah. The high priestess. This person is, you guys aren't talking. This person think like whatever they are doing is a secret. That's what they are doing. They're holding a secrets here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah justice 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 libra cancer passes scorpio here with the high priestess and then libra energy again again you could like i say you could be dealing with someone this person think like they're hiding this whatever this is and stuff like that because you got justice the high priestess in justice this person doesn't plan for this to come out at all that's what i'm saying they're not seeing what's going on here that doesn't see the change that does not see what's gonna happen and that you actually change you have change coming your way there's a message <laughs> 
there is a message this person about to set you a message i think like this uh, this person expecting you to be shocked what happened is someone in here i feel like they are getting married they are getting you know they went to the justice of the peace justice system or whatnot to get married the only thing is that they don't know this person doesn't know you know because it's done secretly so what they are going to do they're going to message you somehow somewhat to tell you that's what they have the will of fortune g as a change um you know they know there's there's gonna be a change the only thing that that does not that does not know you going to be um you could be changed clarify the page of cups with <laughs> wow yeah they take uh, this person take a boy no leap of faith you can make this up there's nothing else for me to see in there try to look for yeah the unknown in seven of swords is at the bottom i'm telling you guys look at this the unknown in the seven of swords yeah this person you know they think they are um they think they are slick they think like they are doing something that you don't know about it so this is what this person do. They think like you don't know they're married. They think like you don't know they're in a committed relationship. Or or maybe you don't know Aries. Maybe you don't know. Because right here, I feel like you've been hurt so many times. And you're not focused on that. Because you're about to go, you know, you're looking at back at this person. You think about this person. You want to, you know, but you're going to, once you start the healings, you're gonna know what's going on because this person think they're gonna call you to letting you know that they're taking a brand new leap of faith in a family setting that's what they're gonna let you know because like i say even here this person felt like oh my god i won you know and they're resisting they're resisting they have have one they're resisting they feel like oh my goodness you know i won whatever this is and stuff like that um i get away with it they don't know that you know they don't know you're going to know because they feel like you know they um they get away with whatever this marriage here mm, mm, mm. may i please have one guidance card for my single aries please one guidance card i'll take that it flew in my lap Yes, Aries, you know how spirit work. You know how the angel works. I, I felt like this card was going to come in. Yeah, I have, pe you know, um, what I was going to say, never mind. But I'm going to say have compassion for this person. That's what they're going to asking you to do. But you're going to have commitment once you go to healings, once you finish your healings. You're going to have, you know, I'm not going to telling you to let go of this person. This is not my job. To let you know let go of anything but the angels he asking you to have compassion where's your vibration yep there you go where's your vibration once you raise your vibration you will be able to tell this person to stay there you know h away from you or the f away from you because your vibration you're gonna set a boundary for yourself and you're gonna limit it you know whether they, you communicate with this person or not but i feel like they're asking you to have compassion i would too i would too i couldn't care less about guardian angels yeah inside and reminders yeah you might see this person everywhere you go there might be a lot of things that reminding you of this person i cannot make this up look at what they say no you don't have to do nothing you don't have to answer the call you don't have to talk to this person you don't have to do not a damn thing when it's come to this person you know what to do here you want to have compassion you want to forgive them that's a step to you but the angels say no because this person and he like i said they are about to be in a committed relationship either they're in a committed relationship already or they are about to the only thing is that this person think you doesn't know he doesn't know they will call you telling you they have a brand new relationship here because the will of fortune say there's some change going on you guys could be at a distance from each other but someone is in a happy uh relationship here wow well well okay
Okay, my beautiful single Aries. Good things are coming for you. I love you guys. Bye, Aries.